There we go. Ah, uh, there we go. He's, co he's coming down the stairs, so. He's, he's taking his time. He's actually taking ages. Come on, bro. I've got all day. There we go. I was, I was going to say, I hope to God he does not turn around there, because it looked like he was just going to ignore the sledge talent. And ignore investigating. So there we go. So we've done this part. We've actually done really, really good for... Um, I think we killed like one or two people by accident, but... I mean, there was multiple ways to kill Dom Osman. There was, I think, maybe five ways. Birdie. There was the one where could we could have killed him with a disco ball, Stay which is quite funny. But that takes ages to like set up. We could have killed him either killing him when he's having his little private dance. There's like a, gra a glass, grass? It's like a glass wall. You go behind it and you shoot him after he's done. It's quite, it's pretty graphic, but it's pretty, um... It's kind of unique at the same time. Or we could have just killed him the way we did. I think there's a few other ways. It's quite, a f but I think we might have done it the best way, um, even though we did kill a few people in the the process. So let's drop down here for a second. Okay, I'm gonna wait for that guy to pass. It's quite cool. We're gonna have to kill this guy, and I feel really bad for it. But at the same time, if we don't kill him, we're gonna be in more trouble. So, um, which sucks, but. Uh, let me take his disguise. There we go. And I'm gonna pick up the sledgehammer. In case things get really, really, really bad and everything goes downhill really fast, I'm just going to equip that and use it. At my oh no, I've just thought. We could have taken down the chef instead and used his outfit, and then the police wouldn't be bothered about us. And I'm gonna have to use quite a bit of instinct to. Mostly get around these people. I have to use quite a lot of instinct to mostly get around everybody, so. Um, and yeah, I've just got to be really, really cautious all the time. So let's just go through this door and hopefully nobody notices us. There we go. Okay, that was alright. Um, sl sl sledgehammer with cleaver, yep. Let's just make sure nobody sees that. Okay, I know how to do this. This is quite um, it's a good part. And it's pretty interesting, but I want to make sure that I get this right. Because if I don't, it's going to become a problem. And I don't want to restart from this, this the, uh, the last section of this mission, so. Okay, swap Quiver with a bottle, no. I do not want to do that. Got to be careful, because the police are just going to notice me straight away, because I'm not, I'm not a cop. You know, I'm a bald guy who's dressed as a cop, and people are going to notice that. So, we set the fireworks off, they're going to make a huge distraction. Final alarm has been started, you can use the computer to slip out. Yes, we can. And then, I'm just going to hold instinct in, in case... There we go, that's why. I just don't want to get spotted, and... Even though we've killed someone, um... Apart from that, um... Apart from one, one um, dead innocent guy... One innocent dead police officer, then we've done okay, and I think this is kind of our best. No, I don't want to kill any of those guys. Let me just run over here quick, quick, quick. There we go. So we've done this part, and we're, we're near the end. We're getting near the end of this mission now. So we've got a few things left. I think after this section of the game, I might leave it and call it a day, um, because the next part is quite long. I might just finish it. I'm not too sure. It depends how long... It takes us to get out of this place. Um, what was that there? Oh, evidence. That's going to help us score. Even though I don't really need, I don't really need the evidence, but either way, it's still going to help. Okay, let's just hide past this guy and let's duck here. If if he starts to investigate, I'm just going to throw this totally at his face. But no, he's walked away. Let's pick the lock for this. There we go. Okay, and I think we're onto the final part of the. The mission, it's been it's quite a lengthy mission, but I'm surprised that we've been doing quite good so far and we've made oh, only minor, small mistakes. So this is the biggest part of the mission, like I said, and we're going back to Chinatown. We're going back to the place where we killed the King of Chinatown, but the only problem nowadays is more busier and we've got a few more targets to take out. So pretty much Bird is in a spot of trouble because Wade's henchmen and his bodyguards are looking for me and they're looking for Wade and we're gonna have to look for Wade. How could they be looking for Wade when they're Wade's people? No, they're looking for Birdie and they're looking for me. So what we're gonna do is try our best not to get spotted and to kill them all in the best way possible. So this might be a bit, little bit tricky. I need to get out of this outfit first of all because there's a lot of police officers around 
and that's the place where <laughs> the um, the drug dealer's apartment was, where we killed the King of Chinatown. So, first of all, I'm just going to get a new outfit because um, a new outfit would be great. I know where the best outfit is also. First of all, I'm going to have to sneak past this guy because there's an outfit down in this little um, alleyway. You might call it that. And we're going to take it. And hopefully... Yay, there we go. It is... Chow the Chipmunk. And so we're going to walk around like this for the rest of the game. And hopefully not get too close to anybody. So I think people might notice us, so... Um, so the first target, I know how to take him out. But it might be... Um, it might be a little bit difficult. I'm just going to check. Where is this guy going, first of all? Like you can do you can kill him in any order um, I've always noticed that but I think oh, I've got to hurry because that guy's over there's gonna notice um, I have to hurry because I need to make sure I don't get close oh god damn it one of them seen us I don't know how he's seen us I'm child the chipmunk how has he noticed that oh my god two of them have noticed really this is not good I killed okay I'm about to kill two targets at the same time, but the problem is, is we're all gonna hear the gunshot, so. Unless I hide away. Oh god, that. That has gone. Oh my god, no, this is the. This is not going well. Oh dear god. Oh my god, this has gone bad. This has gone bad really, really fast. Oh god, I'm just gonna. Yeah, kill from everybody. Oh god, what am I doing? <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe what has just happened. No, I've messed it up. I'm, I'm, I want him to kill me because there's no way I can get out of this uh, scenario anyway. I'm child of Chimmel and I'm about to die. This is great. Um, we killed two targets in one. We killed two targets in less than two seconds, but we've alerted the entire city at the same time, so... I'm just going to let him kill me this way, because even if I wanted to, I could exit I could exit the area, but I'm not going to. I can't. It won't let me, because everybody's like knows who I am, so... And they're on the highest guard, and they can loot past my disguise. So, let's try and attempt that again. Let's try and not mess that up this time. Um, I need to... I'm stuck in this bad... I'm stuck in a bad place where I have the policeman's outfit... And now all the police officers are going to notice that it isn't me. And then if I go in the Charlie the Chipmunk outfit, people are going to notice it's not a Charlie the Chipmunk outfit. So, kind of in this bad um, place where I'm not too sure what I need to do. So, first of all, I'm going to try and do this the right way this time. Make things right for once. Um, what was that? Swap Cleaver with Sledgehammer? No, because the Cleaver is going to just be easier to handle. And it's going to be better. So... Okay, this is how we eliminate the first target. I'm not too sure how long I have to wait for him, but um, I'm not too sure, actually. I'm really not too sure. But I'm just going to hide here for a second. And we're going to wait for the first target to show up in this area. It's pretty much what the setup is here, is we've got a dirty, bad cop, and we have one of our targets who's going to come down here. They're going to discuss about Birdie's file, because Birdie's file sat right next to him. And when they least expect it, I'm going to... Uh, he's on his way now. Uh, the target in question. We take Birdie's file and then uh, everything's going to go mental. And you'll see. And it's pretty amazing. But um, I just hope I can actually pull this off. Because the last time I ever attempted this, which was maybe like five months ago when I last played this game, it messed up and it went really bad. Really, really quick. So I'm just going to have to wait at this moment and kind of see... If it'll work, if it would, if it doesn't work, if it doesn't work, then that means there's going to be one um, civilian casualty because either the officer's going to notice us, or the target's going to notice us, and we're going to have to just fake surrender and then kill both of them, maybe. So um, we'll see how that goes. But now the off the not the officer, the target in question is there, and I'm going to have to duck because I do not want him seeing it because that'll mess everything up. So because last time I ever played this. Um, the last time I played this, like, it messed up, and it was bad, so. 
gonna have to just be really careful. So, I have to take his file. Okay, done that bit. And you, uh, and that's the you can kind of both see both of them. It's quite dark though, um, because we're in like a dark kind of we're under we're not under the city, but we're like in this small little um alleyway would you call it so they're going to discuss but as far they're going to discuss information which is going to help us out in the long run and then we take we've got Bird's file so he the target in question is going to kick off saying yo where's the file da, 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 da. and then everything's going to go mental and then we walk out uh with a tail between our legs with success so let's go wait for them to finish their little chat because it goes on quite a bit um so that's one target out out of three um, I don't think I'll have any other problem with the other two, as long as I don't hey, make the, the same hell? mistake I did last time, where I, t I just, you know, um, ran out in the open. Here we go, it's all about to kick off, I'm just waiting. He is quite a good, um, it's quite a good con hey, conclusion to how he dies, it's quite funny. There you go. <laughs> so the, ta uh, the dirty cop shot him, and we didn't have to even use anything, we didn't have to do anything, he just... Yeah, he's dead, and we didn't even have to, like, lay a finger down on him. That was pretty great. So, our second target is over here. I'm just going to see which target it is. It is. He's there. And we're going to hide in this crowd to make sure he doesn't notice us. Hey, 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 you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, they're going to talk. Right. They're going to go. Come so, in. I think if everything goes right, they're going to go on. into a little alleyway and talk about business I'll talk about something and this this uh, targets gonna bribe that chef over there and we're gonna take his katana because that is gonna be a ton of help god that that won't be suspicious imagine that though if you were in the middle of a city or a town and some guy just whipped out his katana out of nowhere it's like oh <laughs> I don't I don't mean that in any other way um, okay we've got to make sure we get over this guy and make sure this guy doesn't see us. There we go. I'm just going to stay here for a second. So they're going to kick off. Um, and I'm going to use my katana to kill him pretty much. I don't know how brutal it'll be. I don't know if it'll actually work. It might do. Did it? Oh no, he didn't fall. No, I, should, I, oh, I thought he was going to fall down the hole then. Um, let's just put him in there actually. Oh god, it's it's right in him. No, not that. I wanted to drop him. Yeah, the katana is right through his face. Oh my god. Let's put. Oh no, I didn't get the katana out of his. Ah, oh, doesn't matter. This is a silence gun, which is going to be quite good actually. Okay, there we go. We've got fifty-one thousand points. So we're doing okay. Let me just sneak past this guy. And we've got one more target left, who I think is in like the corner of the area. So. And nobody's gonna notice him die, I guess. Okay, so we've nearly done. We've nearly done with the mission. I'm quite excited because I thought I was going to. Oh, oh god, a blood pool's been found. Oh dear. Okay, that's that's bad. That's bad stuff. Um, let's just climb through here. There is a checkpoint here in case we do mess up. Let's just put a bullet in his brain. Got a headshot, got a sound assassin bonus, we've got a target kill, we, and we completed the objective. So we've got 157,000 points. And I've been spotted, so now it's minus points. And we exit Chinatown, and we have done the mission, and I can't believe that actually went quite well. Um, but here's another cutscene, so I'm going to be very quiet. with this cowboy guy. Real nasty looking piece of work. They were going downtown, I think. Too late, 47. I gotta do what I gotta do. <laughs> 
Tell me, Mr. Wade, what would you rather do? Find a girl? Or waste a bullet? Clock is ticking. As you can see, Birdie has betrayed us. Birdie has started chirping. And it's got us in quite a lot of bother because he's talking to Wade about Victoria. And we do not need that. So he's betrayed us, which sucks. But hey, Luke, we got 167,000 points, which I'm really, really... Um, I'm kind of impressed of how I kind of did okay with that. Even, you know, even if I did mess up and we killed, um, I think, let me just check. We killed a few people. Um, we got spotted once, but we completed the objective and we got two headshots and we hid one of the bodies. So, but we also kind of messed up by killing a few civilians along the way. So, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to leave you with a little preview for the next part, which will come out in two days time. So, I'm going to be quiet because it's quite a big cutscene, I think. Thank you so much for watching. I've been Dale 61 Anna. I'm going to leave you with the final cutscene. And then, yeah, the cutscene you'll see for tomorrow. Well, not tomorrow, the day after. Anyway, have a great night, and I'll speak to you guys soon. It's so empty here without the children. I wish I could have gone on that field trip with them.